Here we are for the second in our series with Brad Anderson, and this time I've got Jeff Wetlaufer here to do a short interview with him. And the topic of the day here will be a desktop virtualization and um, system center configuration manager. Without further ado, take it away, Jeff. Thanks. And hi, Brad. Thanks for your time today. Uh, we wanted to talk today a little bit with you about the latest configuration manager release, the R2 that's now in market. And I wondered if you could highlight for us some of the key things that have come to market in that release, and maybe we'll talk a little bit in depth about some of those key features. Okay. Yeah, the first thing that, that I would mention when I think about Config Manager 2007 R2 is the, the quickness with which the team released the product. One of the things that that team has been working on for the last couple of years is their agility and their ability to get new technology capabilities out quick. So I think it's remarkable that they've actually released the R2 release within a year of 2007 being released. But if you kind of think about the big buckets of innovation in that, you know, one of the big things was we, we made the move to SQL reporting services. So now, you know, Config Manager 2007 is using that, and now we have one consistent reporting solution across all the system center. We made some innovative uh, additions and capabilities to our imaging capabilities, a lot with, with respect to the data center. Um, we did some work around some client health and some, some forefront integration. But then I think the biggest area of innovation in that was we really made application virtualization a first-class citizen inside a configuration manager. So for those customers who um, are looking at Vista today or considering Vista uh, may or may not be licensed for the MDOP, the Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack, uh, what is our key value there? What do we have as far as a connection to, to that old software technology we acquired? Mm -hmm. You know, so the application virtualization technology, as you mentioned, came from a company called Softtricity we acquired about two and a half years ago. Um, and really, the, one of the primary goals of that, of that R2 release was to do a deep level of integration. We, we said we want application virtualization to be a first class citizen along with MSI. And that integration has been done with the, re, with the latest release of AppV, which is AppV version 4.5, which is a component of MDOT. Right. But you know, application virtualization, you know, from, a, from an industry perspective, an impact perspective, I don't know if I've seen anything, say, in the last, you know, seven, eight, ten years on the desktop yeah. that has as, as dramatic of an impact on total cost of ownership and agility that application virtualization does. Yeah. When you mentioned customers, uh, you know, uh, deploying Vista. Well, you know, now using application virtualization, you don't have to worry about those application to application compatibility issues. If the app works with the OS, well, you know, you sequence it up, you deploy it through Config Manager R2, and you've got a great solution. And it's actually, it, it accelerates the adoption rate and the quickness with which our customers can adopt Vista because all the application compatibility testing that they had to do is dramatically minimized now using application virtualization. And it's that same process, that same tool as the physical application is now giving us the ability to deploy those, those virtual applications locally or through a streaming experience. Mm -hmm. So what about, let's take for example a customer who maybe looks at that as a solution for their Vista deployment and, and maybe doesn't see quite enough there. What if application virtualization for their desktops is, is just not quite enough? You know, what else have we been doing to, to perhaps kind of bring them a solution? Yeah, that, that, that's a good question. You know, application virtualization really addresses that app to application compatibility but it doesn't address the application to OS. And so if there's an incompatibility that the application just doesn't run in the operating system, that's not one of the things that, that application virtualization is able to address. Well, we made another acquisition. You know, we, we've actually made a number of acquisitions in the virtualization space. This one was a little company named Kidaro. It's K-I-D-A-R-O. And what Kidaro does is think about making it easy for your traditional information worker to take advantage of hardware virtualization, you know, being, being separate from application virtualization. Now, if you think about hardware virtualization, virtual PC, for technology, you know, uh, uh, um, you know us techno nerds, if you will, it, you know, we, we can understand to start menus and to C drives, those types of things, you know, from a hardware virtualization. But your traditional information worker just doesn't understand that, you know, why have I got to start menus? So one of the things that, that Kidaro does is they basically are able to, from a management perspective, address the application to operating system compatibility issue leveraging virtual PC. You manage that, you configure that through the administrative console, but all the end user sees on the desktop is the application. They We're don't see exposing the application. That's right. They don't see, exposing the whole That's machine. right. They, they don't see another operating system below that. So here's the scenario. I've got application foo. It works great on XP, yep. but when I go to Vista, for some reason, it doesn't work. Well, the administrator now can create what we call a workspace inside of the Kadaro solution. And what gets deployed down to the desktop is actually a, a VPC image and virtual PC 
but all the end user sees is the application. They have no idea that there's an entire other operating system that's been spun up in the background behind that. And then we do things like we enable that when you go to print, it actually then prints through the Vista you know, capabilities. And so we, local driver porting and that's those right. kinds of APIs are shared. That's right. So it actually makes hardware virtualization usable for the typical end user. And then as far as how we see that, you know, uh, integrating with the rest of the family, like we have with AppV right. and, and, and System Center, we're essentially going to replay the exact same playbook that we did with application virtualization and Softricity with Kidaro, right. where that will be a core part of the desktop optimization pack, but then in the future we'll also be building, just like we did the integration of Config Manager, we'll, we'll build the integration of Kidaro, which we actually call MedV, MedV, the Microsoft Enterprise Desktop Virtualization. We'll do that same level, level of integration with, with Config Manager as well. Very cool. So that sounds like a great future for us there to look forward to. So there we've talked with Brad about uh, Configuration Manager R2 and some application virtualization technology we've released in market, available today from our website. And we've also talked there about some of the Kadaro technology, which is currently part of the MDOP Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack licensing. Brad, thanks for your time today. Thanks, yeah.